Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a 12 volt power station battery box with a kill switch for your kayak. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the main parts I'm going to be using in this project. To start off with, I'm going to be using a Muller Group 31 battery box, which you can see here. I'm also going to use this 12 volt marine rated dual power port which has one side that will accept a cigarette type lighter plug and the other side will accept a USB type plug and you can see they're separate in here and because this 12 volt port can handle 10 to 15 amps I'm going to fuse it to a separate circuit with a 10 amp fuse and since this is rated for about 3 amps I'll do the same on a separate circuit with a 3 amp fuse I'm also going to use these gland nuts when I run some of the wiring. And this is a marine rated six circuit fuse box, which I will use to make my connections. And this has both a positive and negative bus, so it's really easy to use. Then I also have my 60 amp circuit breaker that will be connected to the trolling motor. And I have this 12 volt, 130 amp waterworks rated kill switch, which I'll also install. And you see, you pull the pin, and that kills the circuit. I've shown how to put this in a box in another video if you're curious for the steps. And then I'm going to be using this Atwood male and female plugs for the trolling motor and power connections. Now to power my little circuits from the fuse box, I'm going to be using this waterproof SAE connector, which will be attached in the kayak. And then I'll want run one of these SAE connectors from inside the box and plug it into the kayak. This is an interior view of the lid for the battery box. On the left hand side here I have my 12 volt 60 amp circuit breaker and this goes out to the load which is fed through the kill switch circuit and then this hooks up to the positive terminal of the battery. On the right here I have my six circuit marine waterproof fuse box where I have all my other electronics hooked up and you can see I've got a positive and negative here and here that is powered by the battery terminals and then I have my negative connections and positive connections for all my circuits which is the fish finder, the 12 volt cigarette type plug and the USB charging port. Now there are a couple things I want to mention about this project. On the front of the battery box, you can see I have my kill switch box and my dual power port. And because you're going to pull on those, what I wanted to do is make it stiffer so the box would not deflect. So I mounted this piece of poly cutting board back there, and I used bolts to mount it to the front, as you can see here. And I countersunk the heads of the bolts so it wouldn't interfere with the battery inside. And then another thing to note is that all these flat spots here inside the lid of this battery box, those actually lay on top of the battery. So whatever component you mount in the top of this box cannot extend farther than the height of these, otherwise it's going to interfere with your battery. This is the final installation of the power station box. Here you can see I have my plug-in for the trolling motor and it's coming from the kill switch box which goes back into the battery and over here you can see I have my USB port and 12 volt cigarette lighter type port attached to the outside of the box and right there is the SAE waterproof plug that will power the fish finder 
So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.